grand rising you guys how y'all guys doing today and the reason for me coming back on is because i have pica pica is an eating disorder in which people don't consider food pica is a craving and chewing substance that have no nutrition value such as ice clay soy or paper pica is very serious and not to be taken lightly it can be because of stress because of culture factors, nutrition, deficiencies, or pregnancy. Different people crave different things. And that being said, I would like y'all to accept me for being having pica. There's a lot of people out there that does have pica. I had it for a very long time. I got it. Or inherited from my mother, my aunts and them eating it. They from the south. And I used to go inside and see what they doing. They used to be eating it like it was breakfast, lunch, dinner. I had it to where I used to eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I thought it was strange because I never, I hit it. And now that I see that it's others out there that's eating it just like me. But, you know... I take it very serious because it was sometimes when I didn't have it, I used to be like, oh, God, I forgot it at the store. And I used to beg, beg, beg my brother or my husband to go out there and get it. They're like, you don't need that. You don't need that. I used to be like, well, how y'all going to tell me what I need? And I used to walk outside myself and go get it. And so it got really, really bad. People say, do it affect me? It hasn't affect me yet. Yes, when I, I when I got I get constipated. Yes, I do. When I used to eat it constantly, 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 daily, daily. I rather have that than breakfast or lunch or dinner. Then they started hiding it from me. This is very serious. Then I got to the point. Once I got pregnant, I didn't crave it at all. So for them nine months, I did not crave it at all. I tried that back. Went to the store, saw it, brought it. I ain't like it. It took me a minute to get the craving back. Then once I got the craving back, I started eating it, eating it more, eating it more, eating it more. But it just wasn't as much as I ate it back when I didn't been was pregnant. Other than that, what I'm saying is this. Don't judge me because what I do. Other people do other and different things. Although it's not good, it's not good. I have low iron. It's not good at all. That's why I take my one-a-day vitamins or my multi-plus vitamins. And since I've been taking these, I don't I don't um crave it as much. I don't crave it as much. But being that I've been watching people videos and stuff, I say, you know what? Being that I do eat it off and on let me come over here and you know do videos and i appreciate the love and support because like i said i didn't know it was others out here like me i had a friend that sit there and chew on a straw all day long she wanted a straw every time we went to the store she wanted a different straw a different straw and she used to chew on it chew on it i'm like what the hell are you chewing on the store straw for my brother he ate toilet paper i'm like what the hell you know it's different strokes for different folks and that being said I hope I explained it a lot to y'all. Like I said, I've been eating it off and on ever since I was 12 years old. I appreciate the love and support. And that being said, I'm going to finish this clabber girl right here. And I hope y'all enjoyed the content and continue joining it because I love y'all guys and support me.
I'm going to say it again. I appreciate y'all guys for supporting. And if y'all have something to say, put a video out there. I would love to hear how y'all started out. How it makes you feel. Because I, when I used to get stressed, boy, I'm going to that store. I don't care what time of night it is. That's why I, don't, I take this very seriously. Very seriously. But I, still, I slowed down a whole lot. What I'm saying is from the heart. From the heart. I gained weight, I lost weight. I gained weight, I lost weight. But like I said, I didn't know you could crunch it, boil it, do all that. I grew up off of orange, all go laundry starch. Next week when my mother come up, you'll see, she'll tell you, she'll keep it real. She from the South. But the only thing I didn't like was sneaking. I don't like sneaking doing nothing. So, and it was hard because I had a husband. He was like, what is that stuff you eating? It used to be crazy. But then he started buying for me, supporting me. And that's a good thing. I would like to hear y'all stories too. Love you guys. Continue to stay safe. Crunch on. Bake on. Do what y'all do. Because I'll be right here watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And keep it real. One for the road.